Welcome to Day One in Buenos Aires by Fluence. I'm Sonia Gill, and in the next few minutes, I'll explain how to form the key expressions you'll need on your first day in a Spanish-speaking country. I'll cover the basics on how to communicate with a cab driver, what to say to a waiter at a restaurant or cafe, how to ask questions when pointing at a map, and a few other essential situations faced by travelers. After this video, you'll have interactive exercises to practice with. All right, enough babbling. Ready to get going? Here are the two words that I learned first when learning a new language. Este and ese. This and that. If you're going to know very little vocab, these words are ideal. I need this. I want that. How much is this? So, repeat after me. Este. Este. Open your mouth and exaggerate. Not este. Este. Okay. So, how do you say this? Este. Write it down if you need to. Make it stay in your brain. And that? Ese. Again, repeat after me and exaggerate. Ese. Now, you can say things like Este café. Can you guess what it means? This coffee. Este café. And how would you say that coffee? Ese café. Keep watching this because slowly I'll show you how to form your own sentences. After years of work creating language learning programs, at Fluence, we know that you'll learn very fast if our explanations have common sense, if we use relevant material that you actually need, and if we stay away from those immersion methods that treat you like a child, and where you end up matching words and images over and over again. Instead, we'll show you how Spanish works. And off to Argentina we go. Once you get there, you'll probably hop in a cab to go to the hotel and then get something to eat. Let's work on the basics at the restaurant first. Then we'll work on the cab. It's all connected. Plato. Dish or plate. Plato. Open your mouth and note the sounds. How do you say dish? Plato. And how would you say this dish? Come on, you know this. Este plato. That dish. Ese plato. Good. Now you know how to point at things and say, I want this dish or that dish. What we're missing is the I want. Easy. I is yo, not yo. The Y sounds like a J, as in job, and the O, just O. Yo. Come on, with me. Yo. So how do you say I? Yo. And I want is yo quiero. Yo quiero. Let's learn a sound here. When you have Q, U plus I, the Q, U sound like a K. Qui, quiero. And this R is a bit difficult. It 
almost sounds more like a D than an R. Say it like a D, but place your tongue further back on your palate. Yo quiero. I want. Or the negative form. Yo no quiero. I don't want. Now let's put a phrase together. Yo quiero este plato. I want this dish. Yo no quiero este plato. Good. Now let's say, I want that dish. Go for it. Yo quiero ese plato. Bravo. See, that wasn't that bad. Let's throw in a please and voila. Por favor. Please. Lots of R's, I know. A little trick with the R's is to exaggerate the sound before it. Por favor. Yo quiero ese plato, por favor. Now, how about, I want the menu, please. Easy. Menu is menu. The menu would be el menu. Yo quiero el menu, por favor. Let's come up with some more phrases. Yo quiero ese plato, por favor. Or you could just say, Yo quiero café, por favor. Awesome. Now, to finish up the restaurant basics, let's ask for water and the bill. Ready? The bill is la cuenta. La cuenta. Think of the word count. The bill counts how much money you owe, right? La cuenta. So go for it. I want the bill, please. Yo quiero la cuenta, por favor. Or perhaps you would just say, la cuenta, por favor. Now, you may be asking yourself, why do we say el menú and la cuenta? Well, in Spanish, nouns have a gender. Some nouns are feminine and some are masculine. El is the masculine. El menú. La is the feminine. La cuenta. Usually, words that end in an A are feminine, and those that end in an O are masculine. But unfortunately, that is not always the case. This is Spanish we're talking about, and nothing is black and white. So really, practice is what gets you to naturally use the feminines and masculines. This is tough for us English speakers, because it's just not natural. Thus far, we know these masculine words. And feminine, we have la cuenta. And let's add one more, one that doesn't follow the rule. Agua, water. Even though it ends in an A, it's a masculine word. So the water is el agua. Agua, por favor. Water, please. Agua y la cuenta, por favor. Water and the bill, please. E is and. 
este plato y ese plato. Good. I think with these, you can survive at a restaurant. At least, you can point to things that you like and explain, I want this or that. Better than pure hand signals, right? The other thing that you might need in a restaurant is el baño. So, you could just say, el baño, por favor. Someone is bound to show you the way. Okay, let's jump over to the second topic, the cab. You land, grab your suitcase, and hop on a cab. I want to go to the Hotel Buenos Aires. You already know, I want. Yo quiero. Yo quiero ir. Is, I want to go. Al Hotel Buenos Aires. To the Hotel Buenos Aires. Let me break down that last part for you. Ir is to go. The infinitive to go. It's the neutral form of the verb. Say it with me. Come on and exaggerate. Ir. Yo quiero ir. I want to go. Now say, the Hotel Buenos Aires. You can do this one. El Hotel Buenos Aires. The H is silent in Spanish. Good. Tu in Spanish is a. Tu as in direction. To the hotel, meaning in the direction of the hotel. To the restaurant, same thing. Very different from to go. To go works as one word. So direction to is a. To the Hotel Buenos Aires. A el Hotel Buenos Aires. The thing is that when you have a plus el, one after the other, they become al. So, a el Hotel Buenos Aires would be al Hotel Buenos Aires. I want to go to the Hotel Buenos Aires. Yo quiero ir al Hotel Buenos Aires. To the restaurant. A el restaurante. Which becomes al restaurante. And why not? Let's learn another word that uses this structure. El aeropuerto. You can guess the meaning, right? The airport. El aeropuerto. So, to the airport would be al aeropuerto. So, we have these three. Wonderful. And check this out. Look at what you can already say. Yo quiero ir a este hotel. Yo quiero ir a este hotel. Pretty cool, huh? Yo quiero ir a este hotel. I want to go to this hotel. <laughs>